हेलो एवरी वन आई एम ज्ञान एंड यू आर वॉचिंग द फर्स्ट सेशन ऑफ जावा एंड वेब इंस्टॉलेशन एंड फर्स्ट प्रोग्राम वी ऑलरेडी इंस्टॉल जावा ऑन उबन टू एंड दिस इज द टाइम टू रन आवर फर्स्ट प्रोग्राम इन जावा टू राइट फर्स्ट प्रोग्राम इन जावा वी रिक्वायर्ड फॉलोइंग थ्री थिंग्स फर्स्ट वन इज एन एडिटर सॉफ्टवेयर वी विल टॉक मोर अबाउट एडिटर इन द नेक्स्ट स्लाइड सेकेंड वन इज द जावा कंपाइलर दिस इज द एग्जीक्यूटेबल जावा सी एंड थर्ड वन इज द जावा इंटरप्रेटर दिस इज द एग्जीक्यूटेबल जावा This interpreter is also known as Java Virtual Machine or JVM. Now let's talk about text editors in Linux. There are two types of text editors in Linux. First one is text based editor like VI, Nano, etc. These editors are difficult to use. And second one is graphical editor like Gedit. Gedit is same as Notepad and easy to use. I am habitual of using VI editor. You can use any editor of your choice. This is the program we are going to write just now but before we write the code let's understand about this code little bit The first line the class word is compulsory first class is the class name decided by programmer Here we are creating a class whose name is first class The two curly brackets write other things in between these two curly brackets whatever you write in between these brackets will be part of the class named first class this line is called method definition line this line is method definition name of the method is main this line is compulsory just memorize it for this moment section between these two curly brackets are most important at least for next two sessions For next two sessions you have to just write between these two curly brackets area between these two curly brackets are called body of the method named main all the lines between these curly brackets should end with semicolon in fact semicolon is the line separator each line is called a statement you can see here system.out.println then small bracket opening and closing in between a small bracket we have two double quotes opening and closing and in between double quote we have something written here whatever you have written here will be get printed on the screen followed by a new line you can see this one is the statement ending with a semicolon prints my first java program on the screen with a new line now let's go to our ubuntu machine and write this program this is my ubuntu machine let me open the terminal control alt t increase the font and write g edit first dot java and followed by ampersand press enter and this is your g edit text editor write class first class then after give two curly brackets inside the first class write public static void main string you have to just memorize all these things whatever i am writing args at least for next two sessions then give two curly brackets now you just memorize whatever has been written before this curly bracket and whatever has been written after this curly bracket you have to just write new code in between these two curly brackets so type system dot out dot println give two small brackets opening and closing inside that two small brackets give two double quotes and write here my first java program so this is how we have created a java file save it we have created our java file in home directory let me copy the java file on the desktop so that we can clearly visualize the effect cp first dot java to home gyan desktop 
we have copied our first dot java on the desktop we have created a java file first dot java now we have to execute the command java c java c is the java compiler then after we have to pass our first dot java file to the java compiler we are passing file name first dot java to the java compiler java compiler compile this file and creates first class dot class file if you notice that the file name of dot class file is same as the class name which we have written in our first dot java you can check here class name is first class that's why we have a class file with the name of first class let us compile our first dot java practically so that we can see the first class dot class file is getting generated or not go to ubuntu machine and this time we have to change our directory to desktop because our first dot java file is on desktop cd home gyan desktop now we are on the desktop let's run command java c and pass our file name first dot java the java c command compiles the first dot java and creates a file name named first class dot class because the first dot java contains a class whose name is first class press enter and you have a file named first class dot class the created file first class dot class is also called bytecode so java c space first dot java if you write a command like this it will create a class file with the given class name and this file is also called the bytecode now bytecode has been generated dot class file has been generated and we have to pass it to java virtual machine the jvm so that it can interpret it write java command java command executes the jvm or also called the interpreter for java we have to pass the file name of created dot class file to the jvm remember that don't use dot class extension here in the first class dot class don't write like this you just have to write the class name that's it don't write full file name so just write java space class name that's it we are passing the class name of first class dot class to the jvm the jvm interpret the class file executes it and so output on the screen let's apply this command practically so go to our ubuntu machine we already have created first class dot class so type here java space first class that's it you should not write like this dot class don't think that you have to pass full file name of first class dot class you just have to pass the class name that's it and press enter it executes it says my first java program and then after it leaves a line also because system dot out dot print ln appends a new line character automatically it is a good practice to have file name and class name same why we will see later it is a good programming practice to write the class name with capital letter and then continue with small letters and the word should be noun if the class name is multi word then each word should be noun and should be start with capital letter followed by small letters like we did in our example we have written first class as f capital and c capital and rest of the characters were small letters let's revise what we did write code in the gedit save it as first dot java pass this file to java compiler called java c compiler generates byte code as first class dot class pass this byte code to java virtual machine can be launched using java command also known as java interpreter virtual machine interpret the byte code and shows output we will visualize this concept with animation in later video one more thing i want to talk about editor that i am more comfortable with vi editor you know that vi editor is a text based editor so if i write here vi first dot java i work like this 
doesn't matter for you how i am editing you can still open it as gedit gedit first dot java so doesn't matter how i am opening it you can still open it as gedit so don't worry what type of editor i am using you can use editor of your choice or you can execute same program in windows also if you don't want to use it in ubuntu instead of writing system.out.println we can just write system.out.print the difference between system.out.println and system.out.print is that system.out.print does not append a new line after whatever it prints so unlike system.out.println system.out.print does not add a new line after printing let us open our created java program first.java let's come to desktop cd desktop here is our created program and open first.java in whatever editor you want i am opening it in vi editor and change the file delete ln from print ln that's it save it now we have system.out.print instead of system.out.print ln save it and compile first.java compiles fine and then let's run it java first class it prints my first java program but does not include a new line after it now question is what is java virtual machine or jvm with a c or c++ program we execute an executable file as process but with java we do not have executable instead we have byte codes jvm gets executed as a process and interpret our byte codes jvm and byte code together make java superior than rest of the programming languages in many respects we will see later thanks for watching see you in the next video